And we're back. It's an extra special segment. It's the Sean's Workday Continues segment. Because when you're late, don't be irate. Just get there. Hunter 2 has a dating advice question. I've been dating a girl long distance for a year, and it's going great so far. She has bad anxiety, and it's prevented her from getting mad at me when I've deserved it. She's very afraid of arguments, and I'm very worried that the first one will have will explode with all sort of pent-up frustration she has. Is there a way I can make her more comfortable with the idea that it's okay to be upset with me sometimes? Probably an aggro shaman. I'm keeping that constant crate because I'm smart. I have some concrete advice here. Um, so I think, I think the first really effective thing to do is to create some ground rules for communication. Right? Like, not just say, hey, if you're upset with me, then tell me. But sit down and say, okay, honey, let's pretend, because I mean, you call her honey because you're like, you know, you're, you're cute, so you say, hey, sweetie, snug them. But, you know, you say that sort of things to each other, right? You say, hey, honey, okay, sit her down and say, pretend for a moment that uh, let's say we were gonna go to a party and at the last second I canceled on you without giving you much of a reason and you were upset about me. Let's talk about like a way that, you know, to express that, right? And you like, honestly, the best things like I felt blank when blank happened, you know, those sort of things. Um, and to explore just different phrasings for that. Like, I don't know, I felt... Because uh, you want to use more specific language. And I felt hurt. I felt hurt that hurt me. I felt hurt. I was sad. I was sad that made me get mad. But getting specific where, like, what about that would bother you? Right? It's like, well, I just felt... It felt like you didn't care that much about me then. Or something like that. It felt like you were more interested in your game than spending time with me or whatever. I felt unimportant. I felt frustrated. I felt confused. You know, there's like, there's like so many different ways you can phrase it, right? I felt blank when you blank, right? Um, explore some of those. Just, just to give her some language to glom onto. Because the hardest thing about emotional and relationship-based communication is that nowhere in my life have I ever seen anyone at all say straight up, here are some good techniques for talking. Nobody has, like, done that. Not in my schools. Not among friends, certainly not in movies. So, so that's the first thing. Just get some language on the table in fictional settings. That would be my first approach. So that way she just she has some comfort saying it. And you should just pretend mockingly, like, like mock out, not mockingly, you should sort of do a mock session, right? Where pretend that, oh my god, who runs this good? Who is this guy? I'm gonna hold on to my weapon here. But you do a mock comforting of her, right? So you just talk about that, and you say, like, hey, I just, I want to just get in the habit, because I feel like we, we've had so few of these, like, I want to make sure that we have a structure for this. So that's step one. Step two, I would say, I would say step two. Set a time. Set a time to just sit down and check in. And just be explicit, right? Hey, sweetheart, I've been noticing that there's a lot of times when you have not gotten frustrated with me when I felt like I I totally deserved it. And, you know, obviously you don't want to demonize her there. But I really appreciate you being understanding and being really kind to me there. If it's just the video, that's fine. I just want to make sure the audio isn't dropping too. Audio. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, you don't want to demonize her for having not gotten angry. You, you should be like, hey, thank you for being really understanding and considerate. But I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to express your feelings. So, how about we just set aside time like on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Maybe you do it once a week. Maybe you do it twice a week. Maybe you do it every single night. Just to I check in. Wonder. And 
a thing that's very emotionally hard for people is everything's fine. And then one person says, hey, you have been bothering me. And all of a sudden this person who's doing nothing suddenly has this onus on them to address this issue. And that, and that, that putting that on someone else feels stressful and being the recipient of that can be very stressful. But if you are driving interaction, you say, hey, 8 p.m. on Tuesdays, let's sit down and talk. And 8 p.m. Tuesdays comes up, you say, hey, let's talk about this last week. Was there anything that I did that bothered you? Maybe, and then you just list some things. Maybe that time when this was going on, or maybe this other thing, were those sorts of things bothering you? And then notice, you are saying, hey, I am inviting you. I am prepared. I am coming to you ready to comfort, right? It's, it's a much easier thing, because then she can just plug into that. How do we want to kill him? Let me Bring me steel. So many weapons I can't just gonna chuck it away. And what's nice is that since you've practiced some conversations, just pra practice some stuff, and then you have some structure, okay, that's good, then everyone just starts to become more comfortable communicating. And a goal is to set that expectation. So that way, next time she's upset, she's gonna feel a little less apprehensive because she has seen how it turns out, and it'll just sort of go down over time. It's time. The battle. Running the program. Ooh, I got a pronto tonto. Jeez. Because I, I, I'm a big believer that uh, big fights happen and big conflict happens because, one, someone didn't feel comfortable expressing exactly how they were feeling. They held some stuff in. The second, when they did want to express, they just didn't have the proper training and learning of how to talk about feelings. Because, where'd I get those scratches? Do I have scratches? A little bit of dry skin stuff. Don't test me, child. Look at you. It's time. Ooh, we're lagging. Ugh. This deck is great. I'm gonna storm up the ladder. We, we haven't played Rafan yet, which kind of sucks. Yeah, but I mean, if you don't have any training, it's, it's very hard to figure out the right line. Because honestly, like, good communication, it, so it sucks in terms of interestingness. You sound wrong compared to every popular media. You know, in the in the intense suspense thriller, you have the main character be like, Mr. President! With honor. Your attitude is gonna get everybody killed! You're wasting our time, right? And that's really powerful, dramatic, conflict-inducing sorts of dialogue, right? That's, oh my god, ah! It doesn't sound as kick-ass as something like, I felt bothered when you didn't respond to my texts for three days in a row. Right, it doesn't it doesn't have the same BAM! You know, you know what I'm saying? Vivid light and pepperoni. Hello. Reporting for Weapon ready. I'm gonna do this. It's just not as exciting. No. Ugh. Ugh. I get the rappers. No, I think I do this. I think that's right. Boom! Oh, he's gonna kill me. Right. That sucks. I 
I think this is a bigger threat. This might make him reconsider hitting me. So we got it. We got to last one more turn, and I think this is the way to do it. All right, I think that's good. I think we did it. Reno Jackson. Yeah, Hunter 2. I would actually do a lot of inviting on things. Shit. Oh, and that's it. Damn! One, one turn away. Well played. <sighs> I think we're gonna win too and get to rank 11 though. That's really good. Could it be Zo? We could do something like this. Sure, Mr. L3141. Man, I am hungry! Oh my god, the eating is so totes gonna happen, bro. Bro dog, yeah. Go ahead and plug my phone in. Come here, little plug. Little plug. Ugh. I now refer to all objects at least a little bit like I refer to Sheriff. <laughs> You're a sweet little electrical puppet. Yes. Oh, God, I love that cat so much. Sean, why are you not hyped for Star Wars? I gotta be honest, I don't remember any of the Star Wars movies. Like, at all. I didn't watch the remakes. Not the remakes, the one to three ones. Put this apple on your head. I definitely didn't see two. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw one. I know I saw three. I don't remember four, five, six in the slightest. I really gotta go back and rewatch those. And I think that more so than any of that stuff, I just don't really like movies. For justice. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of movies. Like, I, I, I and by that I mean like I don't I don't watch movies and think oh this sucks right like but I, I I don't just watch a lot of movies or go out of my way to watch movies. So you know I'll see it at some point, but I'm not gonna be like oh my god here it comes oh ah! oh. <laughs> Everyone's like, get out, Sean! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I just can't lie to you, you know. The battle! So yeah. I saw the reviews for The Force Awakens and uh in deference. Shall not talk about the reviews at all. But let me let me let me talk a little bit about my interaction with the Star Wars universe. Interestingly, the interaction that I have had with did I say StarCraft and Star Wars? The interaction that I have had with the Star Wars universe. 
has been through some of the greatest video games ever made. Dark Forces, as well as Rebel Assault and Rebel Assault 2. Damn. Who has played Dark Forces? Oh. It's a giant! Of course it's an orange! I just told you it was an orange! Dude, who's ready to go, go, go for the face? Actually, I could have just... For justice! Killified it. Oh my gosh. Rebel Assault, dude. We gotta talk about Rebel Assault, man. Rebel Assault was a game where you flew a spaceship forward and you dodged things. It was so good. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. So many yeah, my Comcast has been just shit in the bed lately. Comcast of this. 99% uptime, except most of the time between 7 and 10. I should have 3 3 if I am shouldn't so I? So many possibilities. What a play. I think he was actually alright. I hope he just hits and then he silences. Hits makes them all quiet. Shadow Flame? No! Gee! Gee! None may steal our done that before. Ugh. So how's a bee link me to a cat? Oh, yeah. Oh, what a little derpy black cat. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, a little black kitten. First CD-ROM game? No, Rebel Assault, that is. Actually, when, uh, originally, the floppy drive was real big. big. Floppy time. And around the first time... Hey, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Damn, he ran well, man. My mom got this, like, Sound Blaster Sound Card CD-ROM combo do- Ooh. There were a whole bunch of compiled games on all of those. Some of the big ones I remember more vividly were um, Syndicate Plus. Remember the good old Syndicate games? That was an interesting order for that to have occurred in. Syndicate was there. Ultima 7 was one of the great games on there. Oh gosh, what's this? Uh, Shadow Caster. Gosh, I love the Syndicate games a lot. Hmm. What were some other great? Wing Commander was on there. Oh man, Ultima 7 was so sick. And Ultima 6. Ultima 8. We're dropping so many frames. It's, it ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. We're gonna be rich. Oh, life with Tapa! How? 
How is that even? I, I should have done this because I'm going to get another Murloc Knight. Alright, that's a little more reasonable, but jeez. I really don't quite know what to make of that. He's now going to have to, like, Hellfire, Demon Fire. To kill my Squires. That is unbelievable, I really feel. So, question from Mr. Bar 3141. I've always been hesitant to make the final move out of the blatant and somewhat pathetic fear of alienating her. As I mentioned, she's amazing. I really want to make progress, but I'm unsure whether or not I should simply be friends or make a move. Do you make a move? Just go up and say, hey, I was wondering if I could take you on a date. And if she says no, then you go, all right. And then just be fine. Just It's, it's totally okay. So just ask her. Hey, I was wondering if I could take you on a date. So easy. Super easy. Calmly, just go do it. Do it like the soonest you possibly can. Well, let's go ahead and get a shitload of shit. I think I'm gonna do this. Because I'm, I'm gonna get at least one more of these. Holy shit, I am an idiot. Oh my god, I'm really bad. It's a good thing we're dropping frames so no one had to see that shit. Let's move quickly. Take this blade. <sighs> oh god, we didn't even have to do this. Ugh. Take this blade. Oh. I think this is our last game too. Well, I guess that's our show. You face Jaraxxus! <laughs> oh, shit, dude. The Burning Legion! Inferno! Concede, and apparently uh, the connection has actually died, and none of you can see me. Maybe this will get uploaded to YouTube, but I'm sort of typing because apparently no one can see anything. It's around 9 p.m. We didn't wind up getting to rank 12, excuse me, rank 11, but you know, earned little stars, got ourselves a fancy little deck, and I think we'll be doing a little ladder climbing. Ooh. Tomorrow, we're going to have the oh so fantastic task of running a deck made by the man I sit next to at work. Woo! See you then.